I won't lie to you. I go buy material. I go buy like two materials so for myself first. And then, uh, <laughs> it's the cliche is like, oh, I'm going to my tights. Okay, well, 2020 was a decade, like someone said. So it was a very, very difficult. It was a time for me to, you know, to just go back to the drawing board and, you know, really know, okay, what, what's the next plan? Which is like, you know, nothing is constant, you know, there's, there will always be one form of change, but um, the, that change was something that we were not, no, no one was you know, anticipating it. So it came and it was just more about how to spend and then, not just how to spend and then thinking outside the box. Yes, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I'll just tell myself that, do I need to buy this thing? Is it a life or death situation? Are there other, and I'll just tell myself that if this thing is not important, there are other things that are important. And most importantly, I have learned to save. I think it's just to just be rich. Like you wanting something and the only thing that starts between you and that thing that you want is money. Yes. Yes. I was. That was a quick answer. Yes. There's this thing like um, knowledge is power. So once you know something, you come across something, you want more. Like, um, I want to save more. Uh, <laughs> I will lie to you. I go buy material. I go buy like two materials for myself first. And then, uh, <laughs> the cliche is like, oh, I'm going to my tights. So, that one. And, and then, my cousin is like, PA. She said we have to go to the Amola joint. <laughs> and then it's Amola. Her life saving. 